Welcome to Learn with Lily. Today we are starting with your Long Band New Images, a comprehensive course in English, Class 4, Chapter 6. The name of the chapter is I wrote this little poem. Word focus. Sheer. It is an adjective used to describe something powerful or a strong feeling. Cross connect. Sheer is also used to refer to a thin cloth which is almost transparent. For example, sheer georgette. Now let's read the poem. I wrote this little poem. It was so much fun to write that I scribbled through the afternoon, the evening and the night. When the morning sun was rising and the sky was growing light, I went searching for some breakfast but no breakfast was in sight. If you've ever needed breakfast, then you'll understand my plight. I was feeling fairly famished, so although it isn't right, I picked up this little poem and I took a tiny bite. It was utterly delicious. It was such a sheer delight that I nibbled through the afternoon, the evening and the night. When the morning sun was rising and the sky was growing light, I went searching for this poem, but no poem was in sight. So I wrote it down again and it was so much fun to write that I scribbled through the afternoon, the evening and the night. If you think you know what happened next, I think you may be right. Ken Nesbitt Scribble means written in a hurry. Plight, a difficult situation, famished, very hungry. About the poet. Ken Nesbitt is an American children's poet. He has published several collections of poetry. He has a website on which his poetry is available to read for free. Now, read and answer. A1. Choose the correct options to answer these questions. Put a tick mark. Question number 1. What was so much fun for the speaker writing a poem? Number 2. What was the speaker searching for? Some breakfast. Number three, the speaker was fairly famished. And number four, what did the speaker find? Utterly delicious poem. Question and answers will refer to the notebook. And here we want to learn about anagrams. Word, world. Read this sentence. I went searching for some breakfast, but no breakfast was in sight. In the above sentences, the letters in the highlighted words can be rearranged to form these new words. But, tub, no, on, was, saw. An anagram is a word that is made by rearranging the letters of another word. Next page. Match the words in column A to their anagrams in column B. Leader, dealer, nameless, salesman, break, baker, thicken, kitchen, melon, lemon. B2. Write the anagrams of the given words using hints and brackets. Number one, tools. A seat without backrest or arms is a stool. Master. A small, narrow river is stream. Mate, a group of players in a game. Team, thing, the opposite of day, night. Miles, an expression that shows you are pleased. pleased. Smiles.
Language ladder. Read these sentences. I can write a poem. Suppose I could recite a poem. You may choose your favorite poem. He might write a poem about his experience. I shall write a poem about my dream. Being so creative, you should write something. The highlighted words are helping verbs that give extra information about the main verbs after them. We use models to show ability, obligation, possibility, ask permission, make a request or an offer. Now, study this table to learn more about model verbs and their usage. The model can shows ability and possibility and used for seeking permissions. Examples, I can write with both my hands or can I use your pencil please? Could shows possibility or polite requests and describes also. Examples are, it could rain in the evening or I could swim effortlessly when I was in school. May denotes possibility and used to seek polite permissions. It may rain today. May I come in? Might shows remote possibility. I might do that later. Shall used for suggestions, confirmations, seeking instructions to offer. We shall go to Goa. Shall I order a pizza for lunch? And should shows advice acceptation or recommendations we should obey our parents you should try the soup now tick the correct models to complete these sentences number one may i eat this ice cream number two i shall never forget your help three you should not skip breakfast four we might have done something to help you and five, that could be true. Who knows? Now, the next question. Choose the correct models to complete these sentences. Anil should have been home by now. Shall I order some extra rice? She wondered whether it could be true. May I have an ice cream, please? Excessive rain can cause floods. I might not get a window seat. And at the next page, listen to the rhythm and listen to the rhyme then feel in the blanks. Fill in the blanks. The elephant goes like this and like that. He is very big and he is very fat. He has no fingers but he does have toes and goodness gracious what a nose and punctuation points a question mark is a punctuation mark used in questions add question marks wherever necessary one what is your name question mark two when is your birthday question mark three how was the weather today question mark four can you speak a little slowly, please? Question mark. And the last one. Are we going somewhere tonight? This is also a question mark. Now, question and answers. Question number one. When did the speaker enjoy writing a poem? Answer. The speaker enjoyed writing a poem in the afternoon, evening and night. Number two. Who will understand the speaker's plight? Answer, the one who is hungry and searching for the breakfast will only understand speaker's plight. Number three, what did the speaker eat when he could not find any breakfast? Answer, the speaker ate the poem when he could not find any breakfast. Four, write three pairs of rhyming words used in this poem. Light, sight, right, night, delight, and night.
answer these questions with reference to the context. When the morning sun was rising and the sky was growing light, I went searching for some breakfast but no breakfast was in sight. What was rising? The morning sun was rising. What does the sky was growing light mean? Answer, the sky was growing light means the sun was rising and it was the beginning of a new day. And what was nothing inside? The breakfast was not inside. 2. So although it isn't right, I picked up this little poem and took a tiny bite. Questions related to this thing. What wasn't right and why? Eating a poem isn't right because it is not healthy for our body to eat paper. B. Why did the speaker pick up the poem? The speaker picked up the poem because he couldn't find any breakfast. And C. Did the speaker really eat a poem? No, the speaker did not eat the poem. He ate a paper. And think and answer. Why did the speaker write another poem? The poet wrote another poem because when he was searching for his poem, he could not find it. Number two. What do you think happened next? Discuss in class. I think the speaker's mother said to him, Oh, I did not give you any breakfast. Now I will give you your favorite meal. But the speaker replies, No, mother, my poem is more tastier than your cooking. So if you enjoyed my video, please do like, share, subscribe, and thank you so much for watching. God bless you all.